what is going on? My name is Glendon Cameron, founder of HustlersKungFu.com. There's been a few questions about my background. Let's just put it that way, because there are many people who think that I run this channel and my internet business while I have a full-time job somewhere. Seriously, I don't even know if I am employable. I mean, sir, just, just real quick. I filled out applications at Walmart, Home Depot, Staples, Kroger, and Lowe's. None of them called me back. Not a one. Every now and then I'll just do it for kicks just to see what would happen and I, I'm never called back. Never. And I don't put down, I just put down what I used to do. Still, no call back. So, I don't know if I could even get a job. But, let me tell you about the beginning. How this whole thing got started. There's uh, three phases. The first phase was roughly two, yeah, 2000. That's when the hustler mindset, which is matriculated into Hustlers Kung Fu, started. I had this opportunity to close an office furniture deal. I used to sell commercial office furniture. And my company didn't want to deal with the deal because it was too small. And there was a stipulation from Nancy, who was like, well, if you sell this furniture, we'll do the deal. I was like, we went back and I said, like, hey, we, we sell that first trade. And I was like, ah, no, 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 it's too small. So I go ahead and I make a decision. I had a client list. I knew people who needed the furniture. I knew the price points were going to be on point. So I went ahead and created a company called GC Solutions, LLC, inked it, signed a, a deal with the company that I was selling their furniture and made $30,000 in six weeks. Now, not too long before that point, I was living in the boarding house. So that was the first phase. Uh, the second phase, I got into the storage auction business. Someone told me, hey, you know, you can't, you can't do this full time and make a living. Well, I, I did it full time for a living for a decade. So that was the second phase. Then the third phase was 2009 when I wrote my first book, Making Money A to Z with Self Storage and Auctions. I, it was a strange niche, strange topic. I wrote the book, I created this channel. I was one of the original founding internet fathers of the resale community. And I owned the niche of storage auctions for almost three years. So essentially, Hustlers Kung Fu is going ahead and doing what you want to do with what's available. I didn't do it 100% my way because some things just weren't going to work. I tried them. They didn't work out. So I had to make some choices. But Hustlers Kung Fu is a mindset. It's a, it's a way of life. And, you know, there are many people who have a word with, you know, problem with the word hustle and the connotation of hustle. And, oh, I just can't. Well, because your hustle is weak as shit doesn't mean everyone else's hustle looks the same. Typically, people who have a problem with the word hustle don't have a lot of hustle in their life. Just saying. And that, that's how it began. And that's how the lingo began. And that's how this channel began. And now we're into hustlers manufacturing, hustlers kung fu manufacturing company. Because I always wanted to do this thing of creating a system, a formula to help people be successful. And that is what Hustlers Kung Fu Manufacturing Company is about. That's why the name of the channel and that's how I got to where I am. As you can see, there was some twists and turns and pivots. Some things changed, but the core mission did not. The core mission has never changed and we're still doing what we were doing, making people successful, creating an atmosphere and a mindset of, hey, you don't have to live that life that you're living right now if you choose not to. You have options. You have a way to improve your life. You have a way to make it better. 
Now, why the heavy concentration on money? Okay, you need economics to live the life that you want. There are many people who disagree with me, but if you don't have any money, you don't have a voice. That's my opinion, that's been my experience. Uh, some folks would beg to differ. There's a trooper up here playing games, and I'm like, I am not getting the ticket, so you go slow, I go slow. <laughs> Oh, you're just going to play this game with this trooper. You go right ahead. But back to economics. Economics is the foundation for everything. Economics was the foundation for slavery. Economics was the reason racism was created. Racism didn't always exist. And many people don't know that. It was a tool to keep the institution of slavery in effect. So what I'm saying is economics are the key to your freedom. If you could create your own personal economic or personal economy, if you could do certain things where you are out of the major loop, and there's ways, because as a, as a storage auction person, I lived in the secondary and third markets. There's the primary markets such as retail, then there's the secondary market such as used stuff, and then there's the third market, which is esoteric stuff. So when you, I've learned that when you create your own economy, you really give yourself a great deal of power. So that's why there's a big focus on it. We have many people who, money doesn't matter. And usually it's people who have a lot of money who say that, or people who have no money. But those of us in the middle, we think money matters. And that's the, one of the reasons for all of the talk about being your own boss, creating your own economy learning how to make money outside of an institution. An institution being a job, an institution being eBay, an institution being Amazon. Now, this is the thing. Once you learn how to make money outside of institutions, then when you go back to the institutions or you can manipulate the institutions and make more money for yourself. That is the power of learning how to do things and working hard and creating value in you. That's what Hustlers Kung Fu is about, creating value in you. you know, if you're coming to this channel and you see all the stuff that's going on and wondering like, what the hell is this channel about? How did all of this start? Well, that's how it started. The new direction is we're gonna work on creating online businesses, selling information products, selling physical products. Because there's, when I say physical for myself, it's probably gonna be gear. I've always wanted to sell gear. There's just some ideals I have so that's something you can look out for and then there would be information for those who want it every most day, well not every day but from 3.30 to 4.30 2 to 5 times a week just depending on what's going on with the schedule well I'll just drop some information that can help you look at the marketplace differently and that's the key to making money. Many people think is having a schematic, which is press button A, press button B, do Z and X to yield money. That works, but it's temporary. Once you learn how to look at markets, then you become powerful. I started studying copywriting about two years ago, and I've noticed something about really successful copywriters. When they get to a level where they really are killing their craft, they don't work for anyone anymore. They create their own product, or if they work for someone, it is a equity deal, where if I do this copy, I'm getting a piece of the cheese on the front end, I'm getting some cheese in the middle, and I'm getting some cheese on the back end. Because once you learn how to market, and I can't really underestimate this or overstate this, once you learn how to market, you become a force to be reckoned with in any area of your life you choose to use your marketing skills. You can accomplish many things. There are many people who think you've got to create the best product. Part of creating the best product could be part of marketing, but if you know how to market with a competent product, not something that doesn't work, but something competent, you can make a tremendous amount of money. A tremendous amount of money. So that's a lot of the things that you will hear. And then for those of you who want the mental game, I decided I'm doing a totally different channel because 
we're going to get into some really esoteric stuff. There's that word again. That's just going to be really, really crazy. I'm going to drop a lot of my mindset game, mindset tools, mindset techniques. I'm putting all that out for people to really get a sense because that's just going to be something totally different. It's going to be fun. It's going to be very, very fun. So that channel will be devoted strictly to personal development, mindset, and some other things that I'm going to do. So links will be around here as these things drop. Just go to my about page here on YouTube and you'll see everything that you need to see and can direct you where you need to go. All right, so with that, this is Glenn and Cameron. If you like this little chat, and you should, go ahead below the video and get on my email list. It's an email list. It's nothing fancy. It's an email list. And that's how you can get notifications of I will teach you how to make money webinars that I do two to five times per week. And that way you'll be first to know when I'm going to drop one. Plus, everyone that's on the list gets different pricing than street pricing. Let me say that again. Everyone on the list gets different pricing than street pricing. So that's another benefit for being there. So with that, you have a great day. And I will see you in these videos somewhere. Really? Oh, that right there was just so wrong.